I like, thought you put in there and it hurt better. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Harsh, <laughs> harsh. Uh, but yeah, the the party is tangentially related to an extremely powerful lich that they suspect of being a god. Uh, that they suspect of being the main villain of the entire campaign. It's totally him. And uh, don't let Ian guess. Uzel currently is the only surviving party member that has a contract signed with him. But they have a contract signed with him that uh, guarantees all uh, bodies, all kills that the party creates belong to him and so after every combat he comes and collects and he the party found out relatively early on that he takes souls as well so all of their friends that they might talk about excluding one adara uh you did negotiate for uh her soul not her body um no her body too oh yeah her body too that's right yeah you buried her properly uh everybody else that's died villain hero anything that's related to the party this lich now owns and the party's starting to realize like how absolutely massive of a problem that's going to turn into yep because the party also now has nvidia that has taken some of your friends and split and made a second party and is off in the world doing who knows what uh potentially also fueling this lich Listen, it's a rabbit. She was okay. freed. Didn't she, she, was freed. she personally was freed, but your party. Ooh, she is still part of yeah. your party. East like, has now been like, hey. is now <laughs> tangential to the party, but is now released out on his own, doing his own gonna start doing his own thing. Got a question for you. Yeah. So East is part of this contract tangentially with the party. Yes. Yep. So uh Baron gets the Bodies and the souls, right? Yes. How does that work for the bodies that East ate? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no. There is right in the case of like abject dragon fire incineration. He he gets some ashes if he wants them. You or, uh, there is poop? there are and there's plenty of times like when you just did this huge fort raid, and Daddy showed up. He really kind of picked and chose some of the corpses. He didn't grab every single generic human grunt that was killed. He didn't grab every single orc that blew themselves up off the back of a Stegosaurus. Oh. He, so, so he has rights to all of the bodies and souls that are produced. If it is completely annihilated, it is completely annihilated. Now, before you get too shitty with your ideas... Hey, listen. <laughs> do understand that there are ways magically to reconstitute annihilated bodies. Yeah, we've seen how well a disintegrate scroll works on and that wasn't my campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Mad King, everybody. Hello. We do cold opens here. Uh we've been going for just a minute. We got a couple announcements. Uh first off, Christ Friday is our three year anniversary. Jesus. And we've decided to do nothing special, but we are going to end the Attack on Titan uh, short campaign, so that'll be a Attack fun on anniversary thing special. to do. Unfortunate. I was looking forward to playing the Halo 3 trilogy on the couch for the anniversary. Yeah. I mean, you know, if y'all got, like, weekend time, I, I mean, guess, I but I'm I'm pretty booked up for the weekend, yeah, and we would yeah. need your Xbox, yeah. so. I didn't even know it was three years already. Unfortunately, no. Yeah. <laughs> Spend big, more time on the Discord. Big number three. I need to. We talked about it in team chat last month or whatever, but nobody put anything together. And that happens sometimes. Uh, that uh, Tomorrow, Couch Gaming, going to be playing more Dead Space. Turk's going to be there, so prepare your virgin ears. <laughs> do, do, do. I believe that is that. I am unsure if on Monday we're still technically my villain academia or if I'm going back to playing Zhao or if I'm playing both. That is to be determined. That sounds... Wacky. It's Wacky. it's not so bad. Uh, of turkey, course, man. of course, gruesome is a pre-made, Tafa made all yeah. those characters, and so they're not nearly as out of hand yeah, like as as Zhao Fei is. Sure, he's a pretty simple lad. I just have to remember to talk to myself, which is fine because I do that for Zhao Fei too, because uh, he's two people. Sweet. I believe that's all we got for announcements. Yeah. For you three, let's do a quick recap. Where did we leave off? <laughs> Um, we are at, uh, Raymond's Fort. Yep. Fort Led. Fort Led. Um, his 
bitch ex-wife uh, stole it from him. Yeah. And uh, we're here to... to divorce, man. Gotta watch out for that shit. We're here to... Uh... He was a state official and she signed with the feds. Like... <laughs> And we are here to extract vengeance. We have the dwarves moving in. Um, they're moving an armored like tank division around the uh, around the side. That way we could take out the Lone Tower. Um, and we have to take out this fort in order to cover them getting in. Our plan is to take over this fort. But if shit goes awry, we can dip because that's not the objective of this. Always uh, bouncing away yeah. is just fine and we have a new player we have brie hello would you like to introduce yourself really quick uh and you're more than welcome to do like a pre-introduction to your character you may not be here physically where the party is right now but you will be soon you're here in spirit i'm here in spirit <laughs> my character's name is rack he's a dwarf who's dumb as fuck perfect <laughs> there we go that's a that's Premium right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beirun, Beirun, you have uh, locked yourself kind of going into the main bunker, the main building here mm-hmm. to go see the commander of the fort. And you have raced inside, rushed past the guards, and you are now starting to throw friends out willy nilly. Yeah. Ooh. Let me draw up a little something <laughs> for you here before we hey, give me some visuals. get in totality into initiative. We're going to start with you. It is a relatively wide hallway. Uh, right out the gate, there is a doorway and then stairs that begin going downwards. Uh, just ahead of you, you have just a little ways behind yourself the main doorway that you had come through. And you got some guards on your ass. You had, if I remember correctly, snuck in on the heels of a rather important looking fellow and the two guards behind have yelled for you to stop and gone to seal the doors behind them. Yeah. Uh, those are the only three people in the area right now. Beautiful. I'll give you before initiative, uh, one friend. Beautiful. Who do you pull out first? Uh, my main man, you know, Uzel comes out first. The biggest deletist. <laughs> <laughs> I need him. And roll initiative. Uh, can you like throw me at the dude in front of you? Hey, listen, I can get that's, you out of the bag. That's not really how. <laughs> Would you rather be in the bag? I can swap. We can get somebody else. Ooh, that's a nat twenty on initiative. A oozle right. is on it. What's the total? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Nat bell room. Nineteen. Nineteen. Mad King's forces are not super on top of it right now. Turn order twelve. Uzel, you come out of the bag immediately. Everybody is surprised and flat-footed. <laughs> Sick. Um, so first things first, I'm going to radio over to Adora and uh, Italian. Italian yeah. to start the distraction. Yeah. Um, Bagpipes play in the background. Yeah. Some explosions go off. And uh, yeah, no, this dude that's right in front of me is fixing to have a rough time. Yeah, his uh his back is to you. He looks right, he is in full armor. He does have his weapon on him, but he looks much more like an intelligence guy, an official oh. than like an active warrior. Have fun. Yeah. My well, guy's been in the office too long. That's yeah. Rough. He's for... just a little too old, so he got his ass stapled to a desk. Rough for him. All right. Uh twenty seven? Yeah. Yeah, that okay. fits. What what am I looking for? Huh? What am I looking for? Uh flat footed's different from what next round is gonna okay. be. Don't worry about it. I'll uh, let you know. over thirty. Yeah. Uh, twenty-eight. Yep. And twenty-seven. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah! Flail I knew is, you were the right guy for the job. My flail <laughs> is lame, so that is. Let's see. It's gonna be plus. All right. So that is. Twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five points of damage on the first hit. Uh, nice. 18 points of damage on the second hit. Uh, Bless you. God, my allergies. 24 points of damage on the third hit. 24. And 23 points of damage on the fourth hit. I don't know if it actually works, 
but I've heard from multiple sources that if you get like true local honey, yeah, it like immuni- immun- immunizes. Is that the it word? helps? Yeah, with some of. The I've allergies. done a lot of local honey. Have you? Of course, you know Kim's yeah. dad has his Lines hive, and we get some honey. we get some honey from that, and he's just a couple <laughs> blocks away. Shoot my hives in my backyard. Hey, yeah, is he? I haven't yeah. gotten any jars out of it just yet, but I've, I've I keep forgetting sampled you have a little. Beehives out. That's so cool. Wait, yeah, Kim's dad cute. does local honey. Yeah, but not a lot. Not He's a got lot. two okay, hives, right. and he produces very small amounts, just kind of in yeah. the family stuff. If he ever expands, let me know. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> <Need a> source. <laughs> I can muster up five gallons for you to make meat out of. I'll let you know. Yeah. I need five gallons. I need five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah. That's going to be... But that that's two gallons of, yeah. of mead. <laughs> uh, excellent. He is obliterated. <laughs> Good round, Bill Rune. Um, so they're still standing in the noxious fumes, right? Yes. Great. Uh, I cast silence on that zone. Okay. And then uh, with my move action, I'm gonna walk into the fumes and just kind of my little. Yeah, you got your little uh, diver wheel. Yeah. You step up just to the edge of the fumes, just to kinda... kneel down, and it goes up. Half level in d sixes. He washed his hands after eating, and now it's, he just can't get it to light. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. 18, uh, 23, 26. 26 and points of damage stunned. to the both of them, and they are stunned for the round as the fire erupts. Uh, they immediately, silently scream. Yeah. Does that silence the explosion as well? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Silence is silence. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> we'll get more friends in a second. I just had to make sure they couldn't run off. Uh, enemy turn, the two of them are stunned and silenced. Do you I get my... whacked the guy. Oh, never mind. I made him all flat-footed. Oh. It's, this is not the important part of combat. Your surprise round would not have mattered Did that check? Did in that all check? reality. <laughs> and goddamn, that I gotta go blow my nose. I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Talk amongst yourselves. It doesn't happen mattered, often. Right? You could have been there to follow up. You know, you could have held your, stand, your, your full turn after the explosion and just wiped them up. <laughs> We just got to make sure these guys can't go outside. Oh, yeah. Because if the camp collapses on this, we're done. Like, game over. You want to know something great? Bree organically picked far away as her mini. Yeah? Yeah. Good old far away. Maybe I'll get lucky and die, and we'll see far away again. (laughs) Maybe I'll get lucky. Where to go? Will you see OG Haraway or uh, Doppelganger Haraway? We left up off with OG Haraway. Yeah. So but you know, still... Doppelganger Haraway's around. That's true. Well, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> uh, that was that was that was a whole thing that we'll get into later. <laughs> uh let's see here. Bill Rune. I swear to God, if you change again, listen. Player death happens, It wasn't right? me. <laughs> it wasn't me. I do my best to avoid it, but like that's the thing though, you never died. <laughs> no, that one, yeah. Oozle, it is your turn. So it yeah, you I'll uh throw yourself into a magic pool a few times. <laughs> I recommend it. Um, At least I arms. will move up and uh splatter those two dudes. Yeah. Sound fades from you. Everything is calm and peaceful. Uh boils on these men's skin. Yeah, that was more than five. First it was much more than five. It was like fifteen feet. Um uh, da, 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 over 30. Yeah. And, oh, God. I miss, I miss reaching for all of my DC points. <laughs> That's got to be painful. I'm so it, sorry it for you. It hurts. Um, Max damage? Yeah. Uh, 25 points of damage. 25 points of damage. He is still up. Not looking good. Bell room? Uh, yeah. I toss friends out of bags. Shape bag. <laughs> Which friend? Start with that friend. Thymia out. Initiative. Right, point. <laughs> um, that is a 11. Nice. Welcome to bottom of the turn order. This is starting to look pretty familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Suck a dick. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get improved initiative soon. And we'll put it all right. <laughs> Uh, bad guys turn. They are silenced. They are covered in boils. All they can do is desperately try to fight back. Uh, they're going to try to stab Oozle. 
Weren't they stunned? Or was that stunned last weird? round? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah next turn. It, it was weird. Like the turn, the the initiative count was just really short since there was only three of us. That yeah. I was like, I was sitting here because usually our you said, wait, that's not right. Yeah, usually our turns last like fifteen minutes. It hasn't been half of stream yet. What do you mean they? Yeah, have a turn? Exactly. What do you mean they get to go again? I'm just gonna stop bringing so many NPCs, and that turn order will go a lot faster. L listen, man, if we didn't, we have a lot more. Damn, PJ's going after you. Oh. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, me. Yeah. Um, da, 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 40. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, the first guy stabs his friend. Woo! That's what we like to hear. Minimum damage. All the ones being rolled by this guy. I killed an NPC. What are you talking about? <laughs> he holds you responsible. He's probably got like a list, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> this man studied. He, you look at his. Wall I and it's didn't fucking... do it. <laughs> You ever seen the beautiful that, mind? That was a party <laughs> failure. PJ Boy is super upset about Mo, and I am too. I liked Mo. Yeah, he was one of you my favorites. You did it. I didn't do it. The Mad Kingsmen did it. <laughs> they were setting up the fire tornado. He had an easy out. I expected you guys to, you know, give him hey. a quick phone call. I exactly. Don't know these people, Why right? is it just <laughs> on me? The rest of the party forgot too, but I'm the asshole. Well, it's not. It's Zelly's fault because she was currently like diving down into her death and combat for. And glory I was to buy you time. I was brainstorming how to get us out of there. You were <laughs> what were you doing? Bag holding, and you're the only one that's out. Ooh. I don't have their number. I don't that's know these people. Probably not true. <laughs> uh, yeah. The other guy misses nat six on the die. Don't worry about any of that. Beautiful. Let me. Uh, Explode his head. Talking. See this? This is what I was talking about. I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Keep part of the party. Thing. I'm just gonna. I hang out. Oh. Yeah. You you just you pull out your gecko yeah, and you start enough. whispering like, hey, Betty, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. That was a long time in the bed, buddy. I'm sorry. He goes, <laughs> warm me. <laughs> I have a leopard gecko that I named Sobek. I love it. Yeah. I desire heat, friend. <laughs> I just want this tiny gecko to have the same voice as Ragnar. Ragnar? <laughs> no. They ran into uh, East, who sat in your seat prior, uh, found a red panda and had adopted him in because he, uh, one of his god's patrons was Ardio, the goddess of bears. Okay. And so he gets, he got big diplomacy buffs with bears as part of his bonus. Made friends with this red panda. He's like, what's your name? He's like, I am Ragnar Bloodbeard, the destroyer of worlds and all. And he's just this cutesy little, Aww, you know, level so one quarter red panda. And but he he's had mighty on the inside. bloodthirst. Yeah. <laughs> he's mighty on the inside. He was very mighty on the inside. The heart of an orc. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, uh, you fiddle around. You let Thymia out and she just kind of, you know, okay, hangs. You got it. Ouzel finish this. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first hit dude in front of me. PJ Boy is also blaming you for the death of many of the children. Yeah, yeah, because the dragon coming through was my fault. That yeah. Um, over thirty on the first hit. Damn, PJ. <laughs> yeah. Over thirty on the second. Yeah. Hit. Uh, looking for like AC twenty two for these guys. Okay. They're uh, they're not. You know they got good armor, but they're not that important hits. fellas. Oh. And not one to finish it off, so only three hits. All right. Taking the turn ending, then you don't want to take the penalty? Yeah. yeah. I mean, are you sure? It's, yes, it's my turn anyway. It'd be really cool. <laughs> we could break another All weapon. All right, we've got... <laughs> uh, well, 23 points of damage, first that hit. That new flail. 23, that does the first guy in. And then the next two then will go to homeboy. Uh, 25 points of damage on the second hit. Okay. And... 19 on the... 19, that is just enough because he was stabbed by his friend previously. Yeah, you uh, smash them down. You guys, I'm going to keep turn order kind of as it goes. But we're not strictly in the single action, single standard loop of things. If you guys want to move as a group, you can move as a group. Uh, Melrune, what are you up to? Uh, does this door have like the capability to be barred? From this side? No. From this side? Okay. You, uh, getting good at moving earth? 
You get a spell for that. That would be pretty cool if you could just cover this door so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. You might have a friend in your bag that could help you. I mean, that's probably... You know, let's unleash the, the friends. I forgot about <laughs> everybody else gasping for air. The, in the bag. Yeah, the remaining three <laughs> come out uh, because you guys are a little heavy on NPCs. I'm going to have Mark kind of guard the entrance for you guys. Yeah. And make sure that you don't get pinched in and just, like, gassed out or something terrible All like that. Lines. Yeah. Yeah. The best I can do is an unseen servant to hold the door closed. Just just an eighty, just the strength equivalent of an eighty-year-old man holding the doorknob. <laughs> That'll keep him out. I've got a wet tissue we can put on that too. <laughs> Raymond holds up a hand and from his scroll belt pulls out a scroll, unravels it, says a couple words in arcane, and then shouts the word lock. And you see a thin veneer of magic yeah. uh, cross over the door, and it is, it's good sealed. Much you, better than uh, Unseen you, Servant, you, at least. You end that silence before he does that, right? Yeah. He's outside of the silence. The silence right. was centered over with the other guys. It's only a 20-foot radius. Um, so these these people, they're not, like, dead, dead, but they're dying, right? Like, they're not... The it's an important that, distinction. The ones that I just pasted? Yeah, no, <laughs> the ones that gone. Uzel pasted? Uzel doesn't leave survivors. Not anymore. Could you have just left like one? Nope. <laughs> I just need him for a second. You didn't. You, you didn't. You didn't specify. You pointed and said kill. That's why I said I, I knew the spell would be useless. <laughs> Nobody's ever in the dying condition. They're just dead. Well, if you let me know, then <laughs> maybe I won't. Okay. I was just hey, gonna so. help Mark. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we got what? No place to go but forward. Eh? No place to go but down. Yeah. You. Uh, yeah. There's also that other door, but that's not where our target is. Hopefully. I can <laughs> Hopefully. You guys maneuver your way, begin going downstairs. I'm going to take Mark off the board here. The staircase spirals down uh, a good couple of stories, and you see that it is very strongly worked stone making up the totality of this hallway. What is marching order? Uh, more, more likely than not. Raymond would prefer to be first. Go for it, buddy. I want to be kind of towards the back. You want to be kind of towards the back or in the back? Kind of towards the back. Kind of towards the back. Ollie is fine with taking the back. I'm a switchy boy. Look good? Perfect. Right where I wanted to be. Yeah, you guys are uh, making your way downtown, walking fast. Oozle, you're sending stone buzzes. Oh, sure. It is uh, Lisa the mouse and uh she would like to inform you i have found yet another uh in my genius and recruiting uh a wonderful candidate that i believe that could be extremely useful to you guys please tell me she's quieter than the last one that is very rude Damn. I am <laughs> you don't wonderful. hear this conversation my static <laughs> sounds in my helmet <laughs> you just hear a muffled i hope she's quieter than the last one <laughs> i it depends on what you classify as quiet. All right. Well, do you have any way to get her here? Uh, yes, I do. I have employed some local wizards here on the Pirate Isles, and we can teleport her in. I just need a good location modifier. Uh, is it okay if one of them casts a spell on you to get your exact coordinates? Yeah. All right, you might feel a small tingle and perhaps a burning sensation behind your eyeballs. Cool. Yeah, you feel a spell. My recently cast upon you. Eyeballs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you feel a spell cast upon you, and you allow it to happen. And moments later, there is a bright flash in the tunnel. Rack, you enter the field. Fun. How would you like to introduce yourself? I look around, <laughs> I meet everybody's eye, and I say, sup. I to turn, the point. I turn around, <laughs> and I, 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 all I see is... All you see is... Thymia. Thymia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down here. <laughs> Another small one. She looks kind of mighty, though. Uh, rather obviously dwarf, but with 
green tints to your skin mm -hmm. and pointed ears. You're strange. You're one to talk. Littlest nubs of tusks. <laughs> this one's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the front of the line, an old man turns back towards you. It's a pleasure. We'll meet later. And uh, all the way to the back, there is a very young girl with bright pink hair. She looks over and she just kind of like smiles and waves. Hey. And you see a very large hand <laughs> <laughs> arise from behind. Yeah, from behind her, there's a humongous hand waving <laughs> as well. I quickly turn away from those two. It's covered in bandages, <laughs> calluses, and tattoos. That thing's really gross, right? I don't know who you are, but you're my favorite. I made a friend for you guys. You guys uh, proceed to travel down. Okay, we've had a we rough really couple days. days. <laughs> we will be best friends later. Who's got a problem with short people to the extent that all the children keep dying around him? Ooh. <laughs> uh, I would like you to roll initiative. Uh, which one is that again? Yes, D20, yeah. and that is your dexterity modifier. So that's 15. 15. Move it down. <laughs> Move it down. I'm going to give you uh, the There Will Be Boots the boot. temporarily. You were the Mad King all along. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Does this new individual wear yellow boots? <laughs> Say no. <laughs> NPCs are no. going just after Bail Room, <laughs> but we'll just let them lie. Yes. 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 Why? Yes. Make your way down. Couple step flights of stairs. Uh, it is heavily armored, heavily reinforced. You don't hear much of anything, though. And oh, yeah. eventually you come up to just a simple wooden door. Just kind of at the end of the hall. There yeah. are mage lights all along the ceiling, keeping this very well illuminated. What weapon is Raymond using? Uh, Raymond uses a morning star. Okay. I have a hand axe and an earth shield. Great. You're using your flail. Okay. Um, I cast. I use my brain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is ferocity. <laughs> on I like to blow my great sword so and your hand axe. Um, it basically just makes you a little bit more apt to crit with it. So instead of a twenty, it can be a uh, nineteen or twenty. Yep, very fun, very nice. Uh, Raymond does not waste any time. He goes up, he does not waste any scrolls. No, he no, boots the door. door just under the knob, and it splinters and flies open, and he storms forward. Perception rolls. Breach, breach, breach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see everything. It's a nat 20 for a 32 total. In a great deal of contrast, I see nothing. Nat <laughs> one. Nat one. That Classic. makes sense. You're looking at his back. Yeah. I got see two nothing but my beings. fat ass. <laughs> As you uh, two whole Goliaths breach and clear room. your guys' way in. Some dust gets in my eye. Dust gets in your eye. You're just... You come in and it's just immediately just Raymond's back. <laughs> His armor glints before you. Yeah. I didn't cover my ears for the flashbang. It's really what That's it what was. it is. Just got a little stun there. Uh, before you is a rather long, large desk. Uh, a couple of chairs. There is a stack of chairs over in the corner. There are some generic bookshelves around uh, and some other small storage things along the, the walls. Building. There's a door over to the side, and at the desk sits an elderly woman. Oh. And as you kick in and breach, she just, like, wide-eyed, back this old in her lady chair. Heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Hands are visible, right? She's got, like, some paper and a quill on her Come desk. In. She's wearing, she's not wearing armor. <laughs> she's just wearing, you know, nice Mad King green She, she needs to make a con save to not have a heart attack. <laughs> She certainly makes a will save against just like <laughs> screaming. She does seem like grizzled. There's there's an aspect about her where it's like, you know, she's certainly not expecting this, but this isn't her first time being, you know, faced with something scary. Hmm. 
but she rocks back, eyes wide, and she gives a quick once over of you guys as you're busting in the room. And her eyes just like linger at Raymond, and her jaw drops. And she just goes, My little fox, is that you? Boom. And Raymond, and just like all of his plate mail, he's just <laughs> beefed up, and he just kind of is, he's standing there, he's waiting more or less for his turn. She does get separate initiative. Good initiative. Uh, Uzel, she did not beat 29. Take the door. Take but the other door. she did beat 19 <laughs> pretty soundly. Take the other door. Uh, you do have a round prior. Um... I don't want to hit her. So I don't want her to hit some like panic button. So I'm going to use my turn to move up, pick her up, and place her in front of Raymond, away from her desk. Okay. Yeah. Give me just a quick grapple check. Your ability to grapple her is not in question. I just want to make sure you know you do. Uh, da, 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 CMB. We're looking at twenty-three. 23? Yeah, that succeeds. She's old. Yeah. Uh, also, it seems that she is more than willing to move in the direction you're moving. So as you kind of like scruff her, scruff this old lady, you know, she stands up with you and she walks kind of with you to Raymond. Uh, do you ungrapple her? No. You're holding on tight? Yeah. But you go right up to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it is her turn. You see tears well up in her eyes. And she reaches out and tries to, like, grab Raymond's plate. Lift, lift her slightly. Up. <laughs> yeah, you're going to take her off of her feet and pull her back a little bit. And she just goes, no, please, you're alive. Stay strong, Raymond. <laughs> and you just, he's got his visor down, you know, his, his ornate carvings all across. And he is just stock still. Bill Rune. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna cross the room. Who are you people? Unhand <laughs> me, please. Uh, <laughs> in my passerby, I'm gonna cast Zone of Truth. Yeah, just over there. It feels like there's gonna be some talking there. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna make sure this door stays closed. <laughs> okay. Do you, uh, resist the magical effect? No. I'm not hiding it, but I just... No? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, you uh you cast forth Rack. Mm. Just been dropped in the middle of this. Hey kid, help me take this door. <laughs> All right. The teeny tiny halfling <laughs> <barks ordered. laughs> You're gonna move across the room and guard the doorway with Bail Room? Yep, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alright. We're better off here. <laughs> yeah. Plenty good call. Uh Thymia. I cast Bungle on her, which is just a negative 20 to her next d20 roll. Yeah. Fuck yeah. She's going to try to, she's going to try to like persuade him and it's, <laughs> that's great. I love that. Technically it is the, the will save against the zone of truth. So excellent work uh, because unknown magical effects. Inherently, people try to resist. Yeah. So, yeah, you cast that. Alia and George are going to keep track of the hallway on the other end. Uzel, you've got her grappled, and she starts kind of like she's crying, and she starts just kind of twisting in your grip a little bit, uh, demanding that you unhand her. No. She kind of stops. And, Please. Raymond, who are these people? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for Raymond to let me know if I'm going to splatter this man. <laughs> I will spike her like a football. He just stares blankly out his visor, and you just hear this softest, you betrayed us. And she just starts breaking down and crying even further. Mm. It's the government. You can't not do what they say. You ran off. You abandoned all of us. 
he repeats back he comes back with i didn't abandon everybody i saved everybody you were the one who betrayed us and she comes back with i'm doing what is our royal house's duty and job i am maintaining our standing she thought he was dead and she is just like bawling her eyes out and he's just standing before her anybody wish interference or to press forward with anything i mean i'll just i'll look at raymond and be like i know that this is rough but we we're on a time crunch here what are we doing my man It is at that point that the mage lights lighting the room begin flashing red, God. and you hear a siren begin going through. Oh wait, our the distraction area. hostage. <laughs> our distraction. And she just she is in hysterics. He doesn't look like he's holding up too much better. As he kind of snaps back into it from you talking to him, he just says, "My friends, I don't believe that we have the resources to fully capture this place." My home will not be mine yet. No, I think we should take her with and bug and, out. And you're saying this now? She says, please, please do. Please take me with you. Please keep me close to him. Why? Because I love him. Mm, are there any other reasons? She doesn't seem to have anything to say to you. Very sus. <laughs> super sus. Yeah, she's she's super emotional. Uh, you see like a flash of confusion on her face, but she really is focusing on Raymond. I want to sense motive. What is your CMD? Uh, my CMD, 28. She rolls very high. Uh, you, you start to feel like fabric tear in your gauntlet. She is still very actively trying to like get down and like Put her hands on Raymond. Um, a we gotta shackle this lady. <laughs> a thirty-one on sense motive on her not saying anything. Is there hidden? She knows she's under effect of a spell, and she's not saying anything. Ah, uh, so she is aware that she is under the effect of a spell. She's not aware that it's zone of truth necessarily. Um, and she doesn't know if she's actively resisting the spell or not. Unless she was at some point attempting to tell you lies and then was forced to confess the truth. She, it doesn't seem like she's done anything to figure out what spell this is. The caveat and why it's sus is if she wants to tell a lie, she can just say nothing. That's, yeah. Exactly. Omission is the only technical way to lie in his own truth. Exactly. Uh, you don't pick up any, like, scheming or ill intent in her movements or noises. All right. But, you know, I'll ask, I'll ask hysterical sure old women. The lady? I'll ask Raymond, what are we doing with her? Uh, What's your uh, choice? Hostages are good. Hostages are fine. Uh, the distraction will be great. Uh, let's, let's get, let's get some explosive set or something. Let's get out of here. All right. What What's behind, the, beyond this door, lady? just like pick her up and like <laughs> yeah she she seems to she's not doing very well on her will saves right now she's she's breaking down and she's breaking down fast she's not going to be a useful informant to you she, there is some kind of blubbering of just like my personal quarters robin blind let's get out of here yeah let's take the door and then we can plane shift out yeah you bust in. It is a, a rather small, simple room, but this this base is built for thick, thick walls and sturdiness, yeah. not for luxury. There is a simple bed. There is a nightstand. There is a dresser full of, you know, her clothing and effects. Uh, on the nightstand, there is a painting of her and Raymond, much younger. Yeah. Leave it. I... Uh, I'd like to do it. She reaches for it if you take her into the room. No. Okay, you're no. keeping her out. Oh yeah, no. She's I'd like going to do nowhere. a knowledge nobility in this room to see if like 
this is actually like how they would kind of zhuzh up the room of someone who's supposed to be important to the four. Yeah. Because I have a feeling that she's actually just a fake figurehead, and this isn't really anyone important to the four. Uh, that's a 19. This does not look like noble accommodations, right? It is certainly not the Vikel Manor that yeah. you raided. It is not like the other forts, but it is also not built like the other forts right. at all. Um, and in such a high explosive environment, one might say, it would be rather important to keep rooms as small as possible and luxuries to a relative minimum. Okay. You would expect at least, though, like some nicer furniture. She's got a rather simple bed. Her sheets are nice, but it's not Egyptian cotton with Chinese silk on top kind of thing, you know? It's good bedding. Yeah. It's not just a wooden base with some straw on it, but yeah. it's not it's not the finest of goose feather pillows or anything. Do we ever get her name? I've forgotten already. I mean, yeah, but I <laughs> forgot. I didn't care. This I don't is think. I don't think you did. Just, it, just Raymond's ex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Mrs. Raymond's ex. Who's the the actual like boss around here? <laughs> Miss Raymond's ex. She she seems like she is on the verge of like passing out from stress. Okay. Um, she does not answer you. I can fix this, but it'll it, it'll drop the zone of truth. <laughs> Uh, I cast calm emotions. Yeah. Uh, what's your safety? Uh, we'll save for do, 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 nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Close. She does not make. Yeah. She. You see, just kind of this wave of stillness come over her. She stops shaking. Her eyes kind of clarify a little bit, and she refocuses on the room. Uh, calm emotions, of course, first level spell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not the crazy strongest effect, but it does it does bring her out of this kind of, a little of the edge shock. Off. Yeah. Do you repeat your question? Because she absolutely yeah. didn't hear you the yeah. first time. Uh, who's in charge of this fort? I I I choose. Uh, I I'm in head of staff. I run day to days. I run operations. I I decide. I I handle supplies. What operations do you handle? Oh, we don't we don't leave the fort much. Um, uh, drills, training. Um, I manage guard shifts, defense. I I set up all the. I do all the paperwork for everything. I I I do run things. How do you get to the explosives? We don't we don't keep explosives. You here. don't have an ammunition storage, anything like bolts, arrows. I um, look at Raymond because. He said said explosives, and I don't have any explosives, so... Oh, that's true. Where's yeah. the explosives? Raymond's used to you kind of having explosives. I mean, yeah, but I... We, <laughs> listen, we've been... we've It's been we've a been rough busy. couple of weeks. We've been busy. <laughs> I haven't been able to restock. I've got a handful of Thunderstones. Um, that's it. Yeah, you guys don't necessarily have anything to take structures down. And yeah. realistically, even if you had the explosives that you're used to, you would not. Right damage these buildings who handles the reports from here to like head office i i send off reports personally yes uh i don't go personally i stay here uh all the time I, i'm permanently stationed any i, I live i live here this is my home this is our home do you, do you have any advisors oh plenty um they some come and go some move around some are located in in quarters uh, in in the staffing building. So do you you don't do any delegation? I do a lot of delegation. I do all the delegation. So who's like your go-to for that? Oh God, his for name's, operations. For operations. It would be Martin. <gasps> oh, thank you, BJ Boy. I do have an explosive. That's true. <laughs> I mean if, if all we're trying to do is just create a distraction, we don't need actual explosions. Well, no, we have the distraction, but we're just trying to cause some damage on our way out. Oh, we're actually trying to cause damage. I thought we were just, like, getting us an escape route, because... No, this is our escape route. 
I dangle the old lady. <laughs> yeah, she, she just like back and forth a little bit. Your calm emotions is not going to last long if Uzel no. keeps treating her like this. No. That's fine. Um, as, as she immediately starts like stuttering and, and pleading for you to put her down again. Yeah, that's fine. My line of questioning's over. Um, Raymond seems concerned, but he does not stop. You. <laughs> like you see that tinge of like love from the relationship that once was, but he's trying to to be strong. Oh yeah. And understand that this is a prisoner, not his wife. I cast shackle on her. Yeah. Uh, save DC. Uh. And type. Will save is her better. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Please. It's a reflex save. Is it? Oh, boy. <laughs> and she's grappled. Yeah, she yeah. is shackled. Magical chains appear around her. She shudders again and starts freaking out a little. I hope they're cold as shit. <laughs> I'm going to ask. <laughs> I'm going to ask Raymond. Um. If there's any spot in this fort, uh, in this fort that this barrel of orc explodey oil, <laughs> orc goo, will do the most damage, uh, he seems to sit and think for a second. Yes, of course. If we find our way to my keep's armory, uh, there, there may be things like that can get, get damaged. <laughs> if we have, You're I right. have ways of destabilizing magical items. Uh, that could add to, that can cause some rather catastrophic damage. Beautiful. How do we get there? Oh, well, if we are in, we are in, I don't know where we are. We're underground, of course. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, he was that's in the right. <laughs> Give him the lowdown. What do you want for me to regale him <laughs> with, with kind of where we are in the game? Uh, wisdom check to remember. Yeah, I can give you a generic wisdom check. That's awful. Fifteen. Fifteen. He knows the you, place, though. You give him some, like, general details. You see zero recognition on his face. Like, he pulls up his helmet, and he's like, I'm sorry, what did you say? There's a what? They probably, like, totally redone this fort, though. Like, yeah, how long has he been gone? He's been gone ten years. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All and, right. Like, so, we get out. There may not even be an armory room. It might be a toilet now. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> hear me out. That's a latrine, but... Hear me out. We have our hostage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Please stop shaking me. You jingle her now when she shakes because of the shackles. Just <laughs> like keys. We we go out the front. We have our hostage. Yeah. Raymond gets a lowdown of where we are. Uh -huh. We have our hostage to prevent anybody from fucking with us. We get into the armory. We set the explosives. We plane shift out. So, okay, just a hypothetical question. Talking to your mic. Just one big hypothetical. So, I mean, there's probably some shit going down at the door at this point. I'm sure someone's come to check up on this broad. So, like, it, it may not be as simple as, like, peek your head outside, see where the fucking Rose Garden is. Like, Well, no, that's... that's <laughs> okay. Shield. That oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if she's not important? Like, I secretly believe she's not. That's kind of what I was wondering is uh what if they what what if she is important and they just don't care? Also a possibility. What if she and... is important and you start by opening the door with her in front and she just takes like eighty crossbow bolts to the chest? <laughs> then so that's you, not our fault. Because There's sometimes the Mad Kings men have yeah, just <laughs> yeah. just bad target recognition. Yeah. Um, they see your big ass and just start shooting. They don't see the little we'll old lady dangling in front of you. Open the door and we'll go, hostage coming out. And then... Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> open the door. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. Let, let's, let's, let's go with that. Let's okay. go with that. But then we, like I said, we... So it's going to be her, you, Raymond. Get your, your low, his low down on the area. And then plane shift to where we need to be. If you can, if you can plane shift twice... Sure then, can. Okay, then I can plane he, shift a couple of times. Then we can plane shift to the armory, and then afterwards plane shift out to okay. our distraction. So that's I think all of my spell slots for that spell level. So that's fine. Yes, we both. It will be, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything. I will have fine. one spell level. <laughs> it's one spell slot left of that level. If she's truly as important as she claims to be, should we really be ignoring the death 
in the center of the room. Shit, you're right. <laughs> Yo. Brain. Galaxy Damn brain. rack, you're right. <laughs> Massive brain. All right, Big yeah. We were so caught up in this fucking telenovela going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Watching Telemundo. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh okay. Somebody that's not holding an old lady, check a desk. <laughs> I'll, I'll check a desk. Yeah, perception. Uh, that's pretty good. Thirty-five. Yeah, just shuffling through desks. Lots and lots of paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. You do find a panic button. It does not seem to have been hit. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, and you do find her bottom. You know, her big drawer at the bottom of the desk has a false bottom. And you pull it up and there is a small, kind of like a jewelry box mm -hmm. uh, sitting inside. It is locked. That's fine. I'm just going to pocket it for now. I'm taking the papers too. Yeah, honestly, just dump <laughs> everything into the bag. Yeah. If I could fit the You open up your bag hole and just like... Would, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do have the, the portable hole. You could just fucking... The desk, desk. will fit in the portable hole. Uh, but your bag will Is holding. it a nice desk? It's a very nice desk. <laughs> it's It's not, you know... Bay Woods purple hardwood. Yeah, yeah. But it's but it's a pretty damn nice. It's desk. Iron Mountain's red, you know, redwood forest. My lawyer solid would piece. love this desk. <laughs> Sign on bonus. Devon Wood. <laughs> All right, cool. We have a desk. <laughs> yeah, you take the whole desk. Eggs. We should be a moving company. Why are we doing the <laughs> adventuring <laughs> shit? <laughs> there was one of your sport talent kids. Uh, the one that was able to seal things away. He had he could like make temporary bags of holding that's mm -hmm. exactly what he does hell yeah good for he, you, he decided not Everybody to makes the killing. he didn't want to go to war but he he helps people like move between not quite bronze and bronze and he helps construction sites you know get materials to there and stuff because he can just like touch just a pile of lumber and then it's just like you know marble hell yeah good for him man. yeah yeah he's having a he's making a killing I'm he's doing he's doing great he uh there was also there was the kid that had the telekinesis and they've kind of like half teamed up they work together a lot well no i think they're still alive yeah both of them are still alive the what only ones that the only ones the that, party <laughs> the only ones that really died were the ones that like we really cared about most of the active combat kids are the ones who yeah, died. exactly like kids that lived at the monastery or had moved off to to live on their own and work in town were relatively unharmed all right back up to the front yeah. yeah, you guys uh, double back with her. You make your way up to the front, and you see Mark is just kind of like leaning against a wall. He currently has his tunic underneath his breastplate. He has found a stray thread, and he is pulling it. He's got his <laughs> massive fucking halberd, and he's trying to just like <laughs> clip it. And as you guys come up, he turns back. He's like, oh, sup, guys? Hey, everything good out here? Old Who's that? Old lady. <laughs> uh, a new one. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, I get told that a lot. <laughs> we'll explain Whoa. later. <laughs> door up. All right, yeah, you, you're hearing like people shouting and banging on the door. And he's like, I kind of wish that you didn't seal that, man. He's just like, he, he looks super bored. Yeah. It's probably a lot more like suspicious that it's sealed too. And not just like, oh, walk in, door slips, shuts behind him. And then just fucking kill him inside. Like... I uh, peeked my head to that other way. room. There were some desks and stuff, papers around or whatever. Desks. I don't know. Looks like desks. cubicles, <laughs> some bullshit. Yeah. I didn't care about any of it. Mark, cool. I need you to care. <laughs> no. Your God's whole thing is knowledge, please. <laughs> like. Oh, well, yeah, I gotta. <laughs> I need you to just... And I used to being a wizard, man. Have a little bit more than <laughs> it's, it's been, been two like weeks. it's been two weeks. <laughs> I just need you to give a little more than a once over. <laughs> like he's been a wizard. Hey man, for two I memorized weeks. all the runes on that giant arch. Did you catch a yours. Martin on any of those papers? Uh there were like nameplates on the desks. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure if he was there, it'd be one of them. There wasn't anybody in there. I think they were all right. on lunch or something. Were one of the nameplates Martin? He opens the door. <laughs> I need you to care a little bit, friend. <laughs> he just like sighs. He leans his halibut against the wall and he opens the door and he just kind of like steps in for a minute. And it's like, we made this guy the book nerd and he's fucking miserable with what? it. <laughs> Jerry, Robert, Nathaniel, Rosebud, uh, Martin right there. Great. I'm gonna go loot Martin's desk. Yeah. Listen, let's not take the time to do There's that. There's just like a half dozen 
cubicles. Just, yeah. just take the and desk. And so he's got like he's got like some <laughs> little paper rask, racks. He's got his desk. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll dump all the papers in the bag. All the desks have like a little standing stone like set into them. Huh. All right. I'll dump the papers. They're I'm telemarketers. Not gonna take the desk, but I will like. They're bureaucrats. It's worse. <laughs> uh, thirty-seven perception on the desk. Thirty-seven perception on the desk. There's no hidden. Oh, that's Martin's desk. That is technically untrue. Uh, there is underneath the desk, just kind of drawer. crudely duct taped to the bottom, uh, a bottle of some kind of liquor. I'm taking the liquor too. Fuck this guy. It looks, it looks good. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a nice dark. It's the Mad King Lands. It's towards the north. It's probably a brandy. Nice. You know. Is there Martin's just brandy? Blank paper. Yeah, tons. Excellent. Um, I I have a better idea than like poking our heads out, and I write down a note that says like we have. Wait, what? What's your name? Doris. Yeah, Doris. <laughs> of course it is. Everyone, back off. We're leaving. That was my grandmother's name. <laughs> Sign it, please. Here. Uh, she she can't. I'll turn around. She's so completely she can my... she's completely bound in spectral chains. They're real chains. Or they're real chains. She's completely <laughs> bound in very real chains. Put the pin in her mouth. <laughs> I'll sign her name with her. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or she's like, damn it, I'll sign. That works. Puts Mark. <laughs> um, so, mark. someone like crack the door for me. Can we just like slip it under? Raymond just no, like just... sits there and stares at you for a second. He's like, "That's not how the spell works." I could, I could decast it. Of course, let's, let's not do that. Uh, instead, we'll just like wrap it around a heavy object and like huck it through one of the I, windows. I was gonna cast mage hand, what but window? we can throw things. No that's fine. No, oh, okay. it's a bunker. You're in a bunker, my guy. Uh, I'm sorry. They don't do that here. The dwarves would shell the shit out of them. There'd be napalm in it in like three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Future plans. All right, so yeah, we just got to open the door with her in front of you and pray that they don't just... Mark says, I have an idea. And he takes one of the other guy's desks and he just like slaps everything off of it. And he just hard presses the paper on and he just holds up the desk. And he goes, this is heavy. This can go through the door. Works. Beautiful. I scoop up the papers and then put them in my bag. <laughs> yeah, uh, Raymond decast just in time for Mark to just kind of ram the desk Wait, and mine? break the doors the opposite direction they're supposed to open, blast them forward, and he just kind of like shoves the desk out. It immediately topples over. Nice. And he just goes, shit. Read that. And he's like steps back. You see a bunch of Mad Kingsmen, and there are like swords drawn, crossbows pointed, but you got the old lady, so nothing gets loose just yet as like demands start coming out. Everyone's hands, show me your hands. We're like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wait, which mine? Yeah, we've only been to one mine, right? Do we leave any survivors in our mind? Uh, Jimmy was at the mine. Mark, they didn't meet at the mine. Mark, they met just afterwards. Where you met the hellhound near Not Quite Bronze. It was the double apes was the first encounter that they had with Mark. It's where his pregnant wife and son were murdered. Raymond showed up later just after the securing of Bronshire uh, showed up. He was one of the first NPCs to show up. He was. He was. Uh, offering to assist you guys in running things and desiring to move his people as refugees down to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll wait until they read the note. Yeah, the hellhound at the uh, the not-quite-bronze mine and the first time that they ran into the ape with the skull that swings around that base monstrosity, that was all Jimmy that was appointed to them. Yeah, you wave her around. She goes, oh, oh she jingles. And everybody's everybody on the Mad King side is just screaming <laughs> orders at you, and they're they're starting to you know close distance cautiously. Um. Um. Excuse me. If if you guys don't stay back, I will explode her head. I've done it before. <laughs> uh, Belrune is stealing their desks because they hold uh potential intel. 
Yeah. Oh, these yeah. are these are all the people that bureaucratically were running this major installation, and so he's stealing all of their I'm all of their work. Trying to figure out who Martin is that we're talking. Oh, about. it's a name that I randomly came up with. Okay. Yeah. If uh, if Martin has come up ever again, it's not the same Martin. Okay. There it we go. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, "Is he talking about Martin?" And I was like, "Is Martin important?" <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was lost. I'm trying to figure out who. Yeah, uh, bureaucrats are not important, so they get generic ass names, and if they're the same, don't Amen. draw any conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, with a threat of exploding head, do they change their? I'll blow her head off. Yeah, they. That that's not how I said it. <laughs> oh, how'd you say it? Sorry. Oh, uh, excuse me. I I I will blow up her explode her head if you guys don't back off and let us leave. I've done it before. Yeah, they they stop. Uh, they do not back up. Okay, that's fine. We just need Raymond to poke his head out. Yeah, yeah. Raymond uh, pokes his head out. Where's the armory, bud? He gestures vaguely at other large buildings. <laughs> what the fuck is this place? God damn it. He has no idea. No, his his original keep has been demolished to the last stone and this installation put up. Or... You're in a different location, and his manor is still intact, but elsewhere. All right. I know where the mess hall is. We can do that. New plan. <laughs> just want some beans. <laughs> Doris, where is the armory? Please lead us. Uh, she is currently hyperventilating and really not not. I feel like a maybe we should just like knock Doris out and put her in a bag of holding once we get this door shut again. So <laughs> Those doors aren't shutting, my guy. In the shadow plane. Yes. You can, like, you can still see the real world the stuff. The plane. Yeah. But it's, like, it's, like, faded, right? Kind of? Yeah. Like, it, like light is inverted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So hear me out. Hear me out. And uh -huh. you can't see people, but you can see, like, objects. You can see, a, like, a little glowy center, like a nougaty center. Okay. That yeah. glows about. And you can pass through stone as so, well with effort. I'm going to retreat back into the door. Uh-huh. Somebody go into the shadow plane super quick. Scope out. And by somebody, I mean you. Scope out because you can see, like, items and objects. Hop into the shadow plane. See through the ground where the armory is. And then come back. Well, why don't you just give me the barrel and I'll do the whole fucking thing myself? That's that's one cast. That's two casts to get back. See that? That I have to just spend. All right, sure. That, that's the new plan, bro. PJ, I I probably used Martin like five, seven times through this campaign already. <laughs> it's just, yeah. There's been like seven Martins. There's been Martins. So, eh? Sure. Sick. I mean, if that's the plan, instead of plane shifting through the shadow, what is? I don't know what the shadow realm is, but that doesn't sound good. Realm. Well, we that's, that's, like that's the, the only that's realm, the only realm spot. which does basically the same thing does without it? all of the horrible, horrendous. <laughs> There's some horrendous creatures in the ethereal realm, yeah, but not as that. much as the shadow just realm. Okay. That. As so. people are gathering around you, a massive explosion goes off just above their heads, <laughs> and like shrapnel rains down. A couple guys are injured. <laughs> <laughs> you hear bagpipes playing in the background. Beautiful. Okay. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, if you're going to use the ethereal plane, do it now. A man is making his way kind of towards you. He makes his way it's towards the front. Martin. People split. Let me and this rather well dressed bro. man comes forward. Martin! <laughs> yes, I am. I'm glad that you're familiar. What may I call you, sir? Don't worry about that. It's vitally important that we build a rapport here. We, I see that we're at quite Are you the, the crossroads. I'm going to work as best I can to make sure that we find an equitable solution for the both of us. Unfortunately, sir, there will not be a rapport built. Here are our demands. Fuck off. <laughs> and we're getting out of here. <laughs> politely, politely fuck off. Politely, respectfully, go fuck yourself. Of course, just... <laughs> Unhand Doris. No, listen. We, we don't. We don't have a lot of time. You you need to you need to do this now, and I'll hand you a barrel. Okay. Later, Martin. No, wait, please. <laughs> you you plane shift. Yeah. Well, we shut we shut the door, so they can't see us. You like, can't you, shut you, the doors. Mark broke the doors. There's no shutting oh. the door. <laughs> oh yeah, he threw the fucking. Okay, yeah. 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 That tracks. It All was right. it was gonna work. Yeah, yeah I mean it, it was a good attempt. You know. All right. So he did Good luck, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry.
sorry, he's kind of a coward. How how can I help you? Yeah, we would like to negotiate the release of, of our Captain Doris. She is very fragile, and she can't be worth anything to you. Well, she's worth us leaving, and... Of we'll... course, of course, we can we can negotiate. How would you like to leave? We are going to walk out the front door. And, and how can I guarantee that you will yeah, release Doris upon exiting? And then the dwarves can... I promise. I just, I, I just, I just asked, I just Pinky asked promise. And I was like, hey, where can we detonate this barrel and make it easier to get out? And he said the other thing. He, like, starts walking towards you. Do you, do you guys let him approach? I, I walk a little bit forward as well. Just a little bit. You step, like, out. No, not out. Okay. Just, I just step to forward. the front? Yeah. Yeah, he walks up and he goes, this is a very strange ritual and I'm not used to it. And he... <laughs> Reaches out his pinky like you were doing. I pinky swear the guy. Yeah, you you pinky swear to him. I'm gonna have some of my guards escort you guys to the front. How many people are stacked up on this door? Oh, tons. Yeah. 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 You're you're not able to see like deep into Did the ground like you thought you were going to yeah. be able to. He's in zero plane you plane system. shift and it is just like you see tactical teams folded all around the building and right behind the bunker is a humongous group of guards ready to yeah, rumble. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, you know, start passing through people. Yeah. This is a vital Some of them, like, this. shiver Honestly, as you, like, they, physically they pass through. Wobble you wobble feel odd Gross. every time <laughs> you do it as well. Yeah. In fact, as you pass through people, I need you to give me a fortitude saving throw. I'm not great at those, but... That's a 20. 20 total? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when you pass, like, physically touch and move through them, you feel as if you're getting stuck for just a brief moment, <clears throat> but you, you push through. When you get done with the crowd, you feel not yourself totally. Like I'm taking bits of them? Or like you're leaving bits of yourself behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Back to this crowd. Yeah. I'm going to pop that barrel. I'm going to poke the bottom. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, instead of going to an armory, I'm going to plane shift. Or, well, at first I'm casting, uh, resist energy. Yeah. yeah that very well could have been, Marcus. Uh, that was a good time. God, that's a callback. Resist energy on myself. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to the the material world with this barrel. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just as my brothers in arms, I'm gonna cast a uh, fire shield on myself, which self immolates my body. Yeah. And just and it just hold the barrel to the crowd. Detonates. Yeah, you guys, a small contingency of guards starts kind of walking towards you, uh, as Martin has now made this pinky promise, and they're like, "Please follow us. Rest of you, disperse. Go go to your stations. Get get to fighting." Uh, these explosions, they're you, I assume? No, I'm not with them. What about. explosions? Okay, well, I wouldn't recommend going out the front door then. That's where they're coming from. We do have a gate towards the south. Please, follow us. Uh, kind of, yeah. It's Just Italian. Oh, okay. Have you ever met? <laughs> oh, yeah, you haven't yet. I... Uh, yeah, they, they take you around, and just as you guys are, like, exiting the building, you see that there are, like, some hard dudes stacked up nearby watching you. Uh, as you go to kind of round the bunker, you see a large contingency <clears throat> of troops forming up, huge formation, ready to rumble, and Belrune just appears in the middle of them, and there is just this spark of light and that quickly erupts into a mass explosion. Quick fortitude saves from the three of you. And resist energy only gives you resistance 12, right? Uh, and then does uh, that self-immolation make you immune to fire or something? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, 35? 17. Wait. So your fortitude saves. So that's going to be those. Just two. underneath your stats and your armor Up class. A little bit? Oh, yeah. okay. A little lower. Right there. Right there. Okay. 
Well done. Well done. Okay, none of us can do that. No worries. Well done. If, if it makes you feel any better, I just pulled out my calculator, too. It's fine. <laughs> that is 31. 31. Mm-hmm. Nice. Belrune, what is, what is your... What is your resistance? <laughs> uh, sorry, it was protection from energy. And that's the, the 120. Uh, the 120 total. 120 temp HP on top of okay. my HP pool. Perfect. And then I have uh, that's, DR10. That's good. You're going to need every last bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as the explosion rockets off, you guys are at a relatively safe spot. But the pressure wave is very intense. Thymia, you feel yourself black out for a moment and collapse. Okay. Uh, Alia needs to save too. I got three spell. Alia's okay, but barely. She is absolutely staggered by this explosion. You two are good. Uh, Mark and Raymond are both all right, but like everybody hits the deck, and there are unconscious men. There are screaming men. There are people that have been turned into chunky Jello. <laughs> it is and Martin I'm just gonna still yell. standing in front of you? Martin is absolutely not still standing in front of you. I'm going to yell. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to yell to get to the gate as we charge We charge to just escape. Do you go south towards the explosion in Bailroon, or do you go back north towards Talion and Adora? Um, wherever the hole was just made. Right. South. That still, that still will take us. I'm trying to picture the fort. South. That, still, that still is going to take us out, right? Yes. That's like where Belrune came in, or did he no. come in through the other Came side? in through the north. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, wherever the hole was just made, that's where we're going. Okay. You guys start charging towards that gate there. Belrune, uh, go ahead and take 10 points of damage. Just everything is gone, plus that. Yeah. Something right around 140 points of damage is about right for that. Hell yeah. In excellent maneuver. Somebody pick me up. God. If that means on the ground, Mark picks you up. Mark just grabs you by the back. Uh, Doris appears to be completely unconscious. While we're running, I'm going to radio clip jaw and tell him that I've once again bathed in flames <laughs> and lived. <laughs> yeah, you you kind of rub your tattoo <laughs> and just like warm, fuzzy feelings come back. <laughs> it's not like you can communicate, communicate. Yeah. Unless you really want to pull out your sending stone and, right and call. Well, we'll talk about but, it at bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> I would say no, because he was a uh, way No. Uh, Belrune is absolutely <laughs> cleansed by I'm flame. I'm covered in ash. Yeah. <laughs> the shadows of his victims. Oh, we'll I heal off of that. Do you heal? Oh, yeah, that's right. So yeah. I'm fine. So you're good. Uh, we're going to go on ahead as you guys beeline it for the gate. We're going to break for our five minute break and uh, we will be back shortly. Excellent. Bye bye. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen. Or, you know, whatever gender. Uh, accessible. Just do it. Like, comment, subscribe. Just, just fucking do it.